Hey class, it's Mrs. Weiskircher. I really knew that you would miss me today. Well, I'm gone, so I wanted to go ahead and do um, a video with some instructions for what you're supposed, guys, or supposed to be doing today. So we're going to be doing an unplugged activity uh, like we did before with the binary code. We're just going to be doing graph paper programming instead this time. So before we get started on this, what I want you guys to do is think about these stages of computational thinking. So these are four things that we need to do when, and we do them a lot of them automatically when we are uh, coding. We have to decompose, we have to break things apart. Okay, what's the first step that I need to do? Oh, okay, I need to move forward one step, and then I need to turn right, and then I need to move forward again. So it's breaking things down step by step. Second thing we need to do is look for patterns, similarities. Oh, I need to move forward three times in a row. Maybe I can repeat that, put that in a repeat peat block. Or maybe I'm um, walking forward three steps in a row and then turning left. Um, and so I can put that whole thing in, re in a repeat block. So it's looking for those similarities. Um, then we have abstraction. And so this is defining the most important things that we need to do. Okay, we've, we've broken things apart, we've decided their similarities, we can see what's different, okay, now we can start to put them together to the last step, which is algorithm. And an algorithm is a set of instructions. You guys have algorithms for math, steps that you go through, we, we do this, and then we do this, and then we do this, and then we do this for math. Um, and it's the same thing for coding. I mean, you guys have been doing that the last few weeks. We start out with one step, and then we go into the next, and it, it tells the program what to do and how to finish it. So for this one, we are going to be um, using this programming key right here. This is how we're going to write down what we want to do. So a, a right arrow means to move forward one square. A left arrow means to move one square backward. An up arrow means to move one square up. A down arrow means to move one square down. Um, and this little curly arrow means to change the next color. And we're not going to be using that one a ton for this one. And then the last one is the squiggly line. And this means to fill in the square with color. Okay, so to give you guys just an example of this. So in this instant, the symbols on the left that we saw are the program. Okay, that's the code. And the words on the right are the algorithm piece. This means that we could write the algorithm. One square move forward, one square move forward, fill in square with color. And that would pro <clears throat> excuse me, that would correspond to the program with right arrow, right arrow, squiggly line. Okay, so one square forward, it's right here. One square forward, it's right here. And then fill in the square with color is right here. So this is how we're going to be writing the code for this one. So let's look at this. Okay, how would we write an algorithm for filling it in? Okay, we're going to start up here in the top left corner over here. And we're going to use these symbols over here, just like I just showed you. So we're going to start here. Now let's decompose it, break it down. What's the next step? Okay, so we're going to start here and we're going to move. Whoops, if it'll work. Okay, I'm going to move this over here. Okay, so we need to move one square forward. Okay. Move that up a little bit more to give us a little bit more room, okay? So we have move one square forward, okay? Now I'm here. Now I want to fill in, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this and put it right here, okay? So we started here. We did one square forward, and then we filled in. So now we need to move another square forward, okay? And now we're at the end. So now what do we need to do? Okay, we need to go down. So we're going to go down a level. Okay, so let me duplicate this. And I'm going to move this one up here. Okay, so now we're moving down to a different level. So I am going to start a different row of instructions. Okay, and for this, they want you to start back at this first block. So they don't want you to do anything. So we're down here right now. We want to move backward here. And then we're going to start giving our instructions on this for starting with this square. Okay. So we need to move back. So we're right here. We need to move back 
one time and then another time, okay? All right, so we're gonna move backward one time and then we're gonna move backward another time and that's on a different row, okay? So now we're starting the instructions to go to the right again. So I'm gonna go down to the next row after this um, and then I'm gonna give the instructions. So we're on this one, this square right here. We want to fill this in, okay? So let's go ahead and duplicate this one and bring it up here. Okay, so now we're gonna fill this one in. Okay, and then we need to move forward one block and then another block and then we'll fill that one in. So let's move, do two more move forwards and I accidentally grabbed that one. So I'm gonna do two move forwards here. So let's move forward one and move forward two. And I'm gonna try to get those a little bit more aligned here. Okay, so now we, we, we colored this one in and then we moved forward two and now we need to fill this one in again. Okay, so I'm going to make another duplicate of that and move it up here. And let's see if we can move it down a little bit more. Okay, so now we're right here. So we need to go down, okay, just like we did before. So we're gonna move this one down. Okay. And then we need to go backward two again. So we're right here. So we moved down one. Now we need to move backward again. But we're going to put those on a separate line. Okay, so I'm going to duplicate that twice and move those over here. Okay, so that's looking good. So now I've moved backward twice and I'm right here. Okay, so now I need to give instructions. So I need to move forward. Basically, I'm gonna repeat the same instructions as the first row, right? I wanna move forward, fill in, and then move forward. I just don't need to move down again, but these steps are the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate that. So move forward, fill in, and move forward. and voila. So let's go through and make sure that we have everything. So we started here and then we did move forward, fill in, move forward, go down, go back to, and then fill in, move forward, move forward, then fill this one in. Then we go down again and then we're going to go backward to, and then we go forward one, fill in, and forward. Okay, so now you guys should have the basic idea for this. So now what I want you to do is on your piece of paper, you have this shape. I want for you guys to give instructions on how to fill this in so it looks the right way. So you're gonna start up here in the left-hand corner and then you're gonna give instructions for how to fill it in. Now, look for shortcuts, because after you do the first row, so you're telling it to fill in here, and then move forward, and then move down. Now you've got to move backward five spaces. So how can you show that like in a repeat? We don't have any repeat blocks on here, because we're just writing it in shorthand code. But I want you to try to figure out a way that you could say, okay, move backward five times, and then start giving the instructions. Um, so you're starting to give the instructions um, for this row when you're right here. So I want you to see if you can figure out some abbreviations, some uh, shorter ways to show how to repeat um, doing the same thing over and over again. So I want you to, let's go ahead and pause the video. We're gonna take five minutes and I want you guys to work on this for five minutes and then we'll go through this, this together, all right? So go ahead and pause the video. Okay, so now you guys should have had some time to go through and try to figure this out on your own. Now let's see what we can do here. So we're starting here in the left-hand corner and we want to move forward two spaces and then fill in two spaces and then move forward two more spaces. Okay, so let's start by moving forward two spaces. And 
And I forgot to duplicate that, so I'll just do that right here. Okay, so we're moving forward two spaces. Then we are filling in two spaces. So we want to start here and we want to fill in two. Now instead of saying move forward, fill in, move forward, fill in, which we could do. So I mean we could duplicate this one and we could say, all right, then after that, then we want another move forward and we're going to duplicate that. And then we need another fill in. And then we'd need two more move forwards. So what if we shorten this? What if there's a shorter way to write this? So what if instead of saying fill in, move forward fill in, if we say fill in, fill in, like do two fill ins at the same time, then we can take out one of these steps. So let's get rid of those. Let's put them down here for now. What if, I'm going to duplicate this number and bring it up here. What if we just brought a number up here and we said two fill-ins? Okay, so we'll start here, move forward, and then do fill-in here, and then fill-in here. And then we can move forward again two times. So we can go ahead and do another move forward. Let me move that one up a little bit. So it's more aligned. And then we need another move forward. Okay, so we start here. Move forward, move forward, fill in two, one, two, and then move forward, move forward, and then we need to go down. Okay, and then we need to go backwards. Right? And how many times do we need to go backwards? We need to go backwards. One, two, three, four, five. So let's go backwards five. But let's do the shorthand like we did with those other ones. Let's use this five right here. Let's duplicate it and move it up here. So now we know go backwards five. So let me go one, two, three, four, five. And now we're ready to give the instructions for this row. So for this row, we want to move forward and then we want to draw four. So we can start here and we go draw, four, draw, fill in, fill in, fill in, fill in. So we want four fill ins and then another move forward. Okay, so let's get our fill in, put it over here. Oh, we need to move forward before then, don't we? Okay, so let's get a move forward. Okay, so we've got our move forward and then fill in and we want to fill in four times. So let's snag this number, stick it over here. We can change it to four. Okay, so move forward, four fill ins. Okay, so that puts us right here and then we need another move forward. So I can duplicate that one and we'll move it over here. Okay, so then we're at the end of this row and then we need to go down. Okay, so let's go ahead and duplicate the down arrow. Very good. Okay, so now we're down in this one, and now we need to go do our backwards five. Okay, so we're going to do it just like we did for that one. And so we'll go duplicate our backwards and duplicate our five. And that totally did not do what I wanted it to. Okay, so by going backwards, that means moves us all the way back to the beginning of the row. And now we need to fill in a total of one, two, three, four, five, six. So what if we just did fill in the fill in? Remember, we want to start the instructions on a different line. Okay, and then we want to fill in six in a row. So we'll move this five up here, and then we're going to change that to a six. Okay, so we're going to fill in six, and then we need to move down a row. Okay, and then we're going to go backwards five.
Okay, and then, so then we're going to be down here. So then we want to move forward and move four, just like we did on this one right here. So we're pretty much just going to duplicate what we did here. Okay, so let's go ahead, just duplicate that and bring it down. And then we're going to fill in four. And then go over one. And then go down. All right. So let's move these up a little bit. Okay, so then we're on this row. And these two rows are going to, this looks like the exact same thing, doesn't it? So maybe somehow we can, we, we can put on there that we want to repeat that one two times. I'm thinking that would work. Okay, because we're kind of running our out of room down here as well. So let's say, I'm going to move that one over here to get out of the way. Okay, so now we need to go backwards again. Five times. Okay, and now let's start putting our information over here because we're running out of room down here. Okay. So now we're going to move backwards five. I'll just go ahead and move that one down a little bit so we can show that it is different. Okay. So now we've gone backwards five. So now we're right here. So now we need to move forward, fill in, move forward, move forward, move forward, fill in, move forward. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's start with the move forward. So go ahead and duplicate that one. Okay, so we'll do a move forward, move forward, so fill in is next. Okay, so we have a move forward, fill in, and then we need three move forwards to get to the next one. So let's do our move forward, and then our number three, we'll change this five to a three. Okay, so that puts us right here. So then we need to do another fill in. Okay, so then we're filling in. Then we need to move forward and then go down. So let's go ahead and duplicate that move forward. And then I move down. Okay, and then for the next row, we need to do everything the same, right? So we need to, but first we need to go back, right? So we need to go back, and we do that, do that five times. And then we need to duplicate this. Okay, so we need to go forward. Fill in, and then forward three times, and then fill in, and then move forward. And then fill in or go down, but we don't need that one. Okay, so we actually will just leave that one as it is. Okay, so let me move that one over so we can still see that. Okay, so let's go through and make sure that we have everything. Okay, so we're gonna start right here. So we're gonna go move forward, move forward, then we're gonna fill in, move forward, move forward. Okay, fill in those two, then move forward, move forward, then go down. Okay, so now we're down here. We're going to go back five, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we're going to start here. We're going to move forward, and then we're going to fill in four. So one, two, three, four. Then we're going to move forward, 
then we're going to go down, then we're going to go back five. Okay, and then we want to fill in six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then we're going to go down. And then we're going to go back five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, and then we're going to, so now we're down here. Okay, so we're going to move forward. Then we're going to fill in four. One, two, three, four, and then we're going to move forward. And now here, it looks like I forgot to put in my move down. So I'm going to move that one over here because I forgot that one. So it's a good thing that I checked. Okay, so now we're going to move down. You're going to move backward five. Okay, and so now remember our code's over here. So we're right here. We're going to move forward when we're going to fill in. We're going to move forward three times and then fill in and then move forward and then go down. Then we're going to go backwards five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so now we're on this bottom row right here. And so it's the same thing. So we're going to move forward, fill in. Move forward three, one, two, three, fill in, and then move forward. Okay, so now you guys should have this down pretty well. Okay, so now that we're done with that, I want you guys to take out a separate piece of paper, and um, I'm going to have you on the paper that I've given you. I'm going to it has six by six grid here, like just like this. I'm gonna have you guys fill that in with any kind of shape that you want. Fill it in. Um, with as many or as little blocks as possible. Um, but then you're going to, on your separate piece of paper, you are going to write your code like this that somebody is going to have to follow. Now make sure you start in the top left hand corner and then you are going to um, write your directions um, for how to fill in all your squares and get this all done. So make sure you have, you start your code on different lines to make it easy to follow. Um, and the point of this is try to get your instructions as good as possible that somebody's going to be able to recreate your image. So after you are done, um, you take about five minutes to get your picture drawn and your code drawn, and then you're going to switch it, uh, pass it to um, like the person in front of you. Um, everybody pass our forward one and make sure everybody has a different one so you're not all doing the same and then you are going to um, on the second blank block that is on the piece of paper that I've been given that you have been given um, then you are going to use the instructions that they gave you to then draw what they um, have told you to draw and then afterwards see how close you got to that um, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this graph paper programming and have a great weekend.